you can just verify okay so there was a guy who had a great startup it was running super fast like he was growing very quick but by mistake one night he slept by running one of the auto scaling ec2 instance next day when he wake up the bill was $80,000 do you know what is $80,000 how much it is too much that's too a lot much of money what you can do in $80,000 can anyone tell me actually it's not too much it's not too much so oh, like, yeah. i cannot buy a car you, you can buy, buy a car, car. Yes, you can buy a car, so that's a too much. Of money. Not just a car, you can buy some luxury car. Yeah. You, you can Someone live for a, a year no, no. with $80,000. Oh, that's not my annual uh, income. 300 Saudi Riyals. That, that is not my <laughs> annual income. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's not 100, it's 1,000, guys. It is 80,000. Yeah. Yeah. So it's yeah. three hundred thousand riyals. <laughs> no, no. It's a three hundred thousand is... riyal. 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 You are you are using in riyal. Okay. Yeah. yeah. See, this is the amount. Thirty-three million. Oh my God! I, I can't <laughs> buy a house for it. Exactly. I think someone is super rich here. I think someone is super rich here. <laughs> no, I think no, no one of us. Can you tell me your name, please? Who, who said like this isn't too much? <laughs> <laughs> it was me, but I didn't know. Maybe she's think, a royal. <laughs> um, I think oh I'll have to God. reach out to Maha after this session. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, anyways, guys, <laughs> jokes apart, this is how your AWS account will look like. This is the root account, so it will have very, like, uh, <clears throat> it will have all the confidential information and everything here. This is your account ID. This is your unique account ID that every organization has when they create any AWS account. Right now, I'm logged in as a root user. There are multiple types of user on AWS, out of which one type is root user. Let wait. Just let me share my whole screen, and if I could show you by my drawings, which are bad, but I'll still draw. So there are multiple types of user, like root user who has access to everything. Then we have normal users, employees, for different types of accesses. Okay. After some uh, like minutes, we'll be creating one of the user, and one of you will be logging into the AWS. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. Before I proceed, I need you to understand some things. I'll draw Earth here. Just let me know if if it looks like Earth or not. Does it look like Earth? Does it look like Earth? Uh, no, it's a circle. Just, just think as it Earth. Okay, it is Earth okay. for me. Great. Okay. And how many continents do we have? Okay, you're trying to draw the earth. Oh. These, are the, these are the continents, actually. Oh. Seven continents. Okay. Okay. That's an artist. Thanks a lot. Better than <laughs> okay. Now, in different uh, continents, there are different set of countries, correct? In total, yeah. we have around 203 or 204 countries, if I'm not wrong. It changes. So let's assume 203 countries. Now, do you think if someone is living here in this continent, it would be like good for him or it would be fine for him to access the content that is stored here? Yes, it's fine. He can access. He can. He, but he can yeah. access, but it is a, an ideal situation that he would access the resource from here every time? No. 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 So that is how AWS works. It has divided regions. Can you see this? These are the name of the regions that AWS has divided so that people from different different places can access their nearest region for the quicker and faster access. Does that make sense? Yes. 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 Okay. Uh, for me, it would be Mumbai because it belongs to in like Indian place, Asia Pacific itself. For you, it would be something like UAE or Bahrain. Okay. Okay. Great. 
uh, for others like Mr. Asad, I think he's in US. So for him, maybe North Virginia, Ohio or something like that. Okay. Great. See, thank me for my drawing, guys. Come on, man. please appreciate me. for. Yeah, I just told you, it's better than Mona Lisa. Can you come again? <laughs> it's better than the Mona Lisa. Oh, thanks a lot. See, I told you I'm, a, I'm an artist. You all didn't believe me. Yes, I believe in you. Thanks a lot. Okay, next. Uh, why cannot I move this chat? Just give me a second. I'll stop screen sharing, close the chat, and then again. I'll not be able to check your chats because I need my whole screen to be visible for me. So if you have any question, just ask me by okay. noting this. Okay. Great. The first resource that we are going to talk about is EC2. EC2 is just like you set up your virtual machine in your PC. You remember? You just uh, like set up a virtual machine in your PC. Yes or no? Okay. The same thing is happening here as well. We will set up the Kali machine that you set up in your like personal machine. But this time, uh, we will not be setting up the Kali machine. We will be setting up the Linux from the uh, AWS itself. AWS own machine uh, that is Linux machine. Okay. So it okay. is for what? For what? Uh, for remote uh, it, usage. It, it, <laughs> uh, access remote distance. Remote yes, system. for remote access to a yeah. machine that can be globally accessed. Okay. Uh, okay. Great. For that, let me just wait for it to shut down so that I won't increase the cost a lot for the company. Otherwise, they will kick me out. Do you want me to pick out? Yeah. Thanks a lot. Okay. Great. Um, I think everything is shut. Yep, everything is down. Great. Now I'll go in the launch instance. In launch instance, I will have option to name my so like instance. I'll let the uh, instance name would be demo SDA and two because one I already did in another cohort. So it will be two. Then coming on the bottom, now we can choose between different different operating systems that we have available throughout. Can you see there are 500 community AMIs? Yes. And 6,164 AMIs in AWS Marketplace. These AMIs are just like your ISO images, just like you have Kali, Windows, Ubuntu, the same way it has different, different operating systems like Mac. Can you see this? Mac Monterey, Big Sur, RHE, like Red Hat, Enterprise Linux, RHL, Mac OS Catalina, Suzy. Ubuntu, Windows, okay? Mm -hmm. Again, <laughs> for not being kicked out, I'll be using the free version and the free version is Amazon Linux, free tier eligible, okay? Okay. <laughs> now, you remember you were setting up your virtual box <laughs> where you had option to download either 64-bit or 32-bit. Within 64-bit, like there was x86, there was ARM, there was uh, other versions available yes so we'll be just setting up x68 x86 so that everything would be supported into it yeah. then we will be having the instance type just like you have when you buy pc you decide i would want this much of storage i would want this much of ram i would want this much of core correct yeah mm -hmm. here we'll be choosing the core and the like what do you say the uh, RAM and the core, okay? Okay. Again, for not losing my job, I'll go one vCPU and one gigabits of memory for free tier. But let me show you why we didn't want you to set up. Just by mistake, let's say you clicked here or here, or let's say you scroll down a little and you click some other uh, instance, you know what will happen? They're going to oh. charge you. They cannot charge you? Oh, they are going to charge you. Yeah, they're you know going to charge you. Do you know how much they, they will charge you for one uh, small mistake? Uh, I have no idea, uh, but uh, I believe it's going to be money. 11K? Am I reading 11. right? No, it's not 11K right now. It's $11.32 per hour. Oh. For every hour. Oh, my. 
if you uh, scroll yeah. up and down you will see this is not the costliest one you will find even 15 dollars per hour 37 dollars uh, you see this i have to delete mine i already created it so <laughs> please do that can you see this 129 dollar per hour oh wow. wow yeah that's a okay. lot of money so that's why i don't want you to create any account or anything like that if you mess up you will be get kicked from your home <laughs> i might not be <laughs> from the company <laughs> next is um i have already created one rsa key i'll use that but for you you can create a new one what is a key i'll explain it to you as well see uh, you remember when you were connecting as uh, like ssh connection from pc to other one you had one .pem file on the first day you created one pem files and all these things if you remember yeah it's a private key exactly the private key that we will be using i have already downloaded one can you see this yeah i i did download it and open it so yeah here it is when i have to come like connect to it i'll need this key next coming on the network settings now coming on vpcs i hope earlier today mr shadi would have talked about virtual private clouds did he talked about that yes he did so clouds don't have shape so i'll create some random designs do not laugh okay okay now this is my coffee mug that i'm going to create yep and a saucer this is my saucer okay uh yeah but we see we, nothing we see nothing you can see, see nothing yeah uh, there is nothing Mm, I have to share my entire screen again, which I don't like, but I'll share. Okay. Is it visible now when I draw my um, yes. yeah, yeah. random things? Oh, that's good. Your magic I'll draw, pen. My, I'll draw my cup. Okay. And my plate. It looks something like that. It's not broken here. Okay. It's not broken. It's connected. Okay. Okay, my pan, which looks something like this. Okay. Now let's say we have some services running here in this one, some services running in this particular one, and some services running in this particular one. Okay. Okay. And I want them to talk to each other. I want them to connect to each other. How can I do them? I make Open them talk. ports between them. Open port in Windows, correct? Or maybe there would be an alternate. I could create a direct connection between them. Yes or no? Yes. Okay, so for creating those virtual connections, we need to create rules in this VPCs. Can you see VPC here? I cannot see because I opened the chat. Let me close the chat first. Okay. Yes, I draw correct. Okay. Yep. This is your VPC. You can create more than one VPC. It depends upon you. Right now, I think this account has only one VPC. So all the resources that we are going to deploy would be in one VPC. Next is security groups. Now, what is a security group? Um, let's say within this VPC, now I have this connection enabled from others. Not talking a little in depth about this. Let's say this is how it looks like from within. How many of you uh, like went to a place where you required some ID card or some verification to verify that you belong to that place? Have you went to some place like that? Yeah, yeah college. Yeah. Great. Just like that, the security group would be standing there and it will ask for your IP address. If your IP address does not match to the collection that he has, he will not allow you to connect. Okay. So it's going to be like access list. Yes. ACLs. Okay. okay. We have two options, either using the old one that we already have, or we can create a new one. I'll be using the old one that I've already created. I think this one was the one. Yep. Launch user at four. You will create a new security group. It depends upon you. When you create, it will ask you the IP and everything. I'll come to that later on. Don't worry. I'll come to that. Next, it is asking me what, how much storage space do I need? Just like you have HS, HDD and SSD. I'll just say 8 GB is enough. I can have up to 30 GB for free, but I will take it. Okay. I'll compensate. Right now, don't go into advanced. Otherwise, you'll end up costing a lot. Because it has like creating the backup instance, creating some of the CloudWatch monitoring rules and all these things, which I'm not going to use right away. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Great. Next step is launch instance. See, the instance has been created. If I go all instances, you will see that the new name of demo is DA2. Where is it, man? Come on, show me. <coughs> see, demo is DA2 is here. Correct? It is still yeah. pending. It is not running yet. If you give it some time, it will turn to running. Just give it a few seconds or a minute or two, it will start running. Okay. Uh, how I can delete it from here? Because I already created mine and I want to delete it. Can I delete it from here? <laughs> okay. For delete. <laughs> Okay, for deleting it from here, you cannot directly delete it. You'll have to first create, delete its volumes, and then you'll have to delete its other security groups and detach them, and then you can delete it, okay? Okay. <laughs> yep. See, now it's running, correct? Yeah. Okay, before I go to any further, <laughs> we already talked about EMIs, if you remember, the images that are available to create machines. I'll go to volumes first, to show you what are volumes that I was just talking about for him to delete. Can you see whatever machines were created there? All of them had some volumes available here. Yes. The one which we created right now was this one, five, eight for me, actually 17, nine, 17, eight. Okay. Yeah. And if you scroll down, you will see it was connected to demo SDA too. Is it clear till this point? Yes. Yeah. Once you terminate any of the resource, you will see their, uh, what do you say? Their, this thing would be gone. Their volume would be gone from here. It will not consume any more space. Does that make sense? So even if you have some instances created, but their volume is not showing here, it will not cost you anything. Snapshots are just like your virtual machine snapshots. You remember you take snapshots to roll over to the back, like last instance, uh, the, inst the last uh, point where you had no failures. You remember I was, I created a snapshot and then I ran malware and then it brought back to the previous version. Uh, sorry, uh, what did you say? In the malware lab, I created a malware and then before running that malware, I created a backup, a snapshot of it. Of the yeah, virtual box, yeah you snap it because if it didn't work, it will go back to the last snapshot. It's like a backup. Exactly. So the same thing is here as well. You can take a snapshots and it would be stored here. Okay. Next, going to the security groups. This is the one which we attached, correct? If you go in depth here, you will see the rules Inbound rules means who are allowed to connect to it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 25 people raised hand. Guys, just lower your hand. I'm worried. Do you have any question or something? <laughs> no, it's for uh, uh, attendance. Attendance so for Mr. People Mr. raise Mr. hand and they don't, they don't oh. have questions. <laughs> Come on, man. You all, you all, I don't know. Sometimes I get worried. Yeah. I think you are just... I think it's like a revolution you are doing. Raise your hand. We don't want Swami to teach. Like that. <laughs> Still 19. 19 people don't want me to teach. Okay. <laughs> no, we like you. Okay. So if you go to inbound rules, you will see that we can add and remove the old rules. If I remove them, it will have no access from nowhere. No one can access it. Okay. Now, okay. if I want to access it, I'll just go to edit in one rule. <coughs> the type of access I want. For example, I want all traffic means I can access everything and anything on all the ports. I'll just give my IP here by selecting my IP. If I want to write description, which I never do, <laughs> but make sure you write something so that you can remind, remember it later on. I can have my custom rules. I can have like custom protocols. I can have custom access. For example, I want to have only MySQL access. I would select MySQL and it will take the port itself. Correct? Correct. Next time I want anywhere to be accessed, like everyone throughout the globe can access it. Or I have an option to make it a custom access. You all remember the subnet thing? If I make 10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.
great. If I put zero dot zero dot zero dot slash zero, that means everyone can access it throughout the globe. Uh, yeah, anyone. Yeah. Now I do the save rules. That same rule would be applied to the AWS instance because that is what we have created it for. Next is outbound rule. Outbound rule talks about what this machine can talk to others. Okay. It can talk to everyone throughout the globe. Okay. Great. Is everything clear till this point? Uh, yes. yes. Great. Now a quick question. We have two different classrooms. Each of the classroom can have only up to 30 students. It cannot accommodate more than 30 students. How will you divide them? You have, let's say, uh, 70 uh, students coming in. Not 70, 70 would be extra. Let's say 50 students are there and each classroom can have only up to 30 students. How will you divide them? 50-50. 50-50? We have only 50. 25, 50. 25, 55. 25, 25, or let's say 30 or 20, correct? Something like this. Yes or no? Yes, yes. yes. So the task that you were doing right now, dividing people into different groups, what you were doing, it is the task of load balancer in the real world. For example, there is 1 million requests coming and you have two different <laughs> servers running to handle it. You have two different servers running to handle it. So this will be the task of load balancer to divide it maybe equally or maybe depending upon the need like this one can handle 100 it one this one can handle more than that so it will divide accordingly okay okay great you guys are superb uh, there's auto scaling something i will not talk about that but i'll just give you a little idea about it auto scaling means for example today i'm using one machine there is only 100 requests one machine can like cope up with 100 requests but let's say someday uh, by mistake I got thousand requests. What will happen? There would be 10 machines automatically spinned up. I will not even inform. I will not be informed even. Okay. And they will okay. just start. That is what happened with the guy who had the loss of $80,000. Oh. Okay. Great. Uh, I'll close the instance so that it may cost nothing to the company. Otherwise, again, the thing that I say, what they will do, they will. Kick me out. Okay, Same I thing, can. please like shut all your services. Otherwise your parents will kick you out. <laughs> I just saw stop instant and it's gonna shut it down. Nope, do not just click on stop instance. There would be an option to terminate it. For example, this one is already stopped, but it will still have some charges. I'll go in the instance. But, like, uh, I, I can't terminate it. It's like, it's not an option for me. I just can't stop it. Just select it and then try it again. Uh, okay, I'm gonna select it. It was selected already, but I'm gonna reselect it. I still can't terminate. I can reboot it and I can stop it. That is. Is it running? Is it running right now? Yeah, it's run. Uh, it's running. Yeah. <laughs> so first stop it and then terminate it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let me try now. Yep. Stop it. Yeah. Stop. Man, you might have already call, like had some cost if you would have chosen wrong. Like, no, I, I choose the free. I'm, I'm, I'm sure. But now it's stopping. So after it's stopped, I can terminate it. Yes. And I don't yeah. have to worry about it anymore. Yes, correct. Can you okay. use 94 FPR on that? <laughs> no. Someone is trying to get you worried. <laughs> Okay, guys. Next is the IAM dashboard. This is identity and access management. For example, if I want a new user to be added here, okay? Who wants to be a new user to log in? Anyone? Raise your hand. Um, up. Raise your name. Name. Who? Bassam. Bassam? Yes. Bassam? Okay. Bassam, you there? Is he uh, even here? I have no. Yeah. Basam, you there? Come on, man, laugh. We miss. I miss you, laugh. Man, I feel sleepy. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, this one. That that's the laugh. <laughs> okay. Uh, Basam, can you share your screen when I will ask you to? Share my screen. Yep. When I'll ask, not right now. Taking your hectic, Basam. 
Uh, oh, sorry, I write it again. Is it? Uh, Somi, excuse yep. me. I, I have a question. Uh, is, is it stopped? But I still can't terminate it. Don't worry. Like, is it showing? I'll, I'll take a look at it just in a few seconds. Okay. 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 Yep. Great. Now for <laughs> this, we have two different types of access, like programmatic access from the command line, or we can access it like this, like I'm using on my browser in the command in the console. Okay. For command line, let me just show you that as well. It would look something like this, writing AWS commands yeah. from here. Sorry, my mistake, AWS. Writing AWS commands from here. Can you see this? That is your command line access, the programmatic access, and the, 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 this, the password access. That is what I'm going to make for him. So Basam, here's your password. Just note it down. Can you remember this password? I know it's very hard password. Can you remember it? What? Which one? This password, man. Uh, I know it's oh. hard for you to remember for this password, but make sure you remember it. Okay. Give me a second. Seriously, man, you're noting it down. <laughs> no, uh, I cannot. I can't read it. It's too small. Okay. Next is if I want him to change his password when he logs in, I can just enable it from here, but I will not do that right now. Next is what policies do I want to attach to him? Okay. I go to the attached policy. I'll give him only read only access so that he could not mess up anything and I would not be kicked out of the organization. So I'll give him the read only access. So he could read everything, but he cannot write anything. So for that, hmm, can anybody can anybody find uh, sorry can anybody find AWS read only something like that written somewhere? It would be like read only access. Yes, yes, it's here, it's here. Wait, yeah, here. Up, 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 up. Amazon up, Poly read only. Up, up. No, that one. Yep, this one. No, uh, no, no. Uh, down, down, down. I'm talking about up, up. Amazon. Yep, it will be upward actually. Uh, Amazon. Amazon just access. It is Amazon read only access. Okay, Amazon read only access. Uh, oh my God! Let me just write the full name. Amazon. No, we don't have that. Let me search for AWS read. Let me just search in my different types. Okay, I'll have to put a little more search into it. Nope, not needed from here. Let me just search then. Come on, guys, you cannot search for read only thing. That's sad. It's really small here in my end. I can't even read it. You can zoom it. You have that option, I think, to zoom it. Yeah, you can zoom it with your finger. Just search for Amazon read only access, nothing else in the mid. Not EC2, not VPC, nothing. Amazon read only access. Don't move so fast. No. Oh, okay. Why don't you go just uh, click uh, control F? I'm not gonna work. <laughs> yeah. That is what I was waiting for, man. That is what I was waiting for. See, uh, everyone was this. Too. See, that is you know there is there is a good statement in here. Uh, do you know what what that is? Um, that if you want to do some hard work, just give it to the laziest person that you know. You know why? <laughs> You know oh, why? why? Do you know why? No one knows. Why? <laughs> they will guy... work smarter, not harder. Exactly. That guy or that girl <laughs> would find the easiest way to do it. Okay. I'm giving him the read only access. Good so one, good okay. So that he can read it. The best part about AWS is you can you will need to give them the connect access in order to let them connect to the EC2 instance. So I'll just give him the EC2 instance connect access as well. Go to the next review. I don't want to change anything, create user. Basam, I'll need yes. you to share 
fifteen and oh, we have five chats here. Okay, I need you to share your screen. This is your username. You remember your password? Someone already shared. Fazal has already shared, and I'll share you the link. You will need this link to log in, and when I say to log in, just click on that link and log in. Before that, uh, can you see this account ID? Is equal to this URL first part. Yes. That is because you need to log. In. You need your account ID in order to log in. Basam, can you share your screen and open the link? Basam is trying to spin up some machines behind my back. You cannot do that, man. You don't have permission. Okay, just give me a second. Uh, <laughs> some privacy. You can't add anything. <laughs> Just give me a second. Sure, sure. I think Basam was sleeping already. He was like, "Oh man, I will have to wash my face and everything." <laughs> I I can see still people are raising hand. Don't you want me to teach? Come on, guys. Not root user man. You cannot log in as root user. You don't have that account type. I told you, you know, you have I am user account type. <laughs> Now this is asking you for the account ID. If you would go through the link that I have shared you, it will automatically fill the account ID. Just click on the link that I have shared you. See when it will open, you will see the account ID already written there. Correct. Oh, Just put your username that is there in the chat and the password. Why always I write wrong spelling of cohort in Hari? See, I have written cohort. Yep. See, now he has access to AWS. He can go everywhere. He can connect to EC2 instances, but he will not be able to connect to any other thing. On the right top. You can see it is written Basam underscore cohort CSD. Correct? It is not written coding dojo. If it would have been the like admin account or the root account, it would be written the name coding dojo. Clear? That's clear. Great. Uh, yes. Can you go to uh, in the services top? Can you go and write S3 there? There it is in the center as well. You can just click there or you can search it. Whatever you prefer. Not EC2 S3. Yep, I'll show you something. Now I am giving you this liberty that go on create whatever amount of storage you want to create in S3. S3 is a bucket service uh, for storage. Okay, go on create a bucket whatever you want to do. Go on, man. I give you the permission. I'll bear the cost. Name your bucket something. You cannot put capital. You will have to keep small. Okay, create whatever size you want to create, wherever you want to create. I am giving you this permission. <laughs> He's searching for himself. <laughs> Man, come on, choose any of them. <laughs> choose any of them. Okay. Nothing new is. Choose not what's new. California. Okay. Okay. You can choose whatever size you want. You can choose whatever you want, okay? And just create at the bottom. Once you are done with those things, go on and create. Let's change those things later on. Just go on and create. I want to show something. This already exists. Just create something else. Something else. Yes, I think this will work. Go in the bottom and create bucket. Well, see, you don't have permission to create it. Correct. Okay. That is how we do use IAM to stop others from doing what activities they are not allowed to do. Okay. Can I share my screen again? Basam, your screen will be stopped. Okay. 
great guys uh, okay now again i'll go to im and i'll show you when an employee leaves the organization how we have to delete their account if i just go to users i will go to basan i'll have to copy his username before i go there delete and i put and delete not able to login again why <laughs> sorry man can't help it okay coming on the next steps talking about uh, policies a little if i put some password policy here everyone who is working in my organization will have to follow it if i keep it like he will have to create at least 20 characters long password they will have to do that if i do that account if i create group for example multiple people have same type of access i can create group and i can attach users to that then i have roles i can define roles which people can assume at a time to work for something policies these are already created or we can create a specific policies when we create some policies those are known as inline policies and what is here is known as the um what do you say this one is known as um managed policies okay if i go and create something i'll have some new inline policies okay i'll just go back and um anything else that i want to tell you these are the services you can find all type of services from here if you still have any question you can ask me i think that's all that i wanted to show you for today i'm kind of lost what should we do in the lab yeah not nothing nothing you don't have to do do that to get lab Asad will not ask you for today's lab assignment. Okay, Asad. so no yeah, lab today. No, nope, just a gift from me that I want you to learn something new. That's why it is here actually. If you don't want to learn, you can just skip it. Forget whatever I talked about. <laughs> uh, no, no, it's good. No, it's, it's, it's good, man. Uh, can you help me now? I want to terminate this. <laughs> <laughs> just two things. Just two things to share. uh guys this is one thing that i'm sharing you you can just go there and register yourself okay by applying here and it will give you free courses available with them Bye. and you can learn and this one is official by aws you can just go there and learn and the second one that i shared this one <coughs> yeah, this is skill builder you can just go on and learn in this you will get free access to the aws as well sometimes sometimes you won't where when you will have to perform some activity it will give you access to aws you will be going to aws and doing some stuff okay that is okay. how it looks like you can take subscriptions if you want but i would recommend do not pay do not take subscription it's fine then you have certifications which you will need to do maybe in future if you need but not right now does that make sense yes yeah. yes thank you thank you thank you Just I'm one right. more gift. Yeah. So, are you there? Can you hear me, Asad? Asad, are you there? Uh, Somi, are you gonna help me or? <laughs> yes, yes, man. Okay, let's help you first, and then we'll come back to this. If we service, why are you panicking? <laughs> I, I, I I know if it's free or, or not anymore. <laughs> Okay, it's, just it's free that. today, and they're gonna change it in like a year or something. And yeah, if there's some, don't worry. You can just simply delete your account for you as well, Faisal. Don't worry about anything. Just go and delete your account. Uh, I I don't want to delete. I have this account since I was in the United States as a student, so I might use it in the future. But I don't want services running on it. Um. That is gonna charge me. You get what I mean? Okay. So the thing is, if you just you keep it running, within a year your free tier will expire. So you have just one year. Why don't you just search for on Google how to delete your AWS account and delete your AWS account for like entirely. Next time when you need it, just create another free account, use it for one year, and then that's all. Okay, I would okay. Google it. Okay. Yep, that's all. You don't need to worry about closing services. You don't need to worry about billing services because I know most of you have already created account. So don't worry. Just go and delete your accounts. That's all. You don't have to worry about anything. 
Does that make sense, guys? Yes. Mr. Sumi, if I wanted to uh, submit the lab of today, what should I do? Just the steps? Nothing. Nothing. Just enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Today is a free gift from our side. Sumi, since we have time, can we play? Mm -hmm. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a good idea. Uh, what do I say? <laughs> Just you wait don't for us to be here and close the recording because if I play in recording, I will be thrown out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Okay. <laughs>